Hi, my name is Alicia Mariotetis. I'm the Education Director at the Museum of American Indian. Welcome to Storytime with the Museum. We're out here in Lagunitas Valley. All our county parks are incredibly beautiful and I encourage you to come out to our parks and enjoy nature. And you know, you can go onto our website to learn about our uh, Nature Days program at www.marinindian.com. So it's very rich and abundant here. It's a good place for humans and plants and animals. Animals like coyote. And coyote's been around for a very long time. And coyote originally was the animal in, in the prairies, but now coyote's moved into a lot of different habitats. He's in the open woodlands. He's in the edges of the forest, along the sea coast. He's in deserts and mountains and farmland and residential areas too, like here in San Geronimo Valley. In fact, I've seen coyote running down the valley right along Sir Francis Drake Boulevard. That's great. So coyote has been traveling up in northern Canada and Alaska, down south into Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala, into Panama, all over the place. Coyote is in all of the lower 48 states. Oh, wait, wait a minute. He's not in Hawaii. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to cross that big ocean. Coyote's been around for 10,000 years or so, and there are lots, there's probably thousands of stories about coyote. So let's get started. in the before time, long, long time ago, when the plants and the animals were speaking one another, when time, well, time was not a watch, wasn't a clock, wasn't stuck in a clock, no. Time was a part of the sacred forces of nature. Time was blowing on the winds, blowing cold, cool, warm, or hot, letting everyone know the changing of the seasons. Time was moving everyone and everything according to the changing of the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. So during this time, the Creator had just finished creating all of the animals. Pretty happy about that. And Creator wanted to make humans. But Creator wanted the animals to give their gifts to the humans. He had a sacred stone right next to him. And as their gifts would work well with nature and with, with humans, so it would be. Well, this was a huge circle from the mountains, the valleys and the deserts, all along the coast. Many animals came. Abalone came, whales, fish, eagle, hawk. It's too many to tell you today. But I have a couple of my favorites that spoke up early on in this process. And the first one to speak was Eagle. I wish to give humans eyes to see far, to see the truth and to understand the wisdom of seeing truly. That would be my gift. Ah, Eagle, this is a fine gift indeed. Take your wings and touch the stone. Eagle took his six feet wingspan and brushed the sacred stone. Next was deer. Deer came, deer said. I wish to give man swiftness. Humans should be able to move quickly and patience. These would be my gifts. This is indeed a fine gift. Come, touch the stone with your hooves. And deer placed her hooves on the stone. And so it is, we have eyes to see clearly and we can move swiftly through the forest. And next to come up was, ah, yes, I remember, it was bear. <clears throat> I want to give humans two legs to stand on. Strong legs, strong chest, strong arms, 
strength. That would be my gift. Ah, this is a good gift indeed. Touch the sacred stone. Bear with his huge paw touched the sacred stone. And so it is. Humans have strength. But then Creator said, oh, hold on, wait a minute. What shall we put on the ends of man's arms? Well, Lizard was just about to speak and give his gift when you know who came along. Oh, I know. Humans should have paws, paws like mine, because then they could run over anything and they could dig and scratch fleas. Humans should have paws. Lizard spoke up next. <laughs> Excuse me, dear coyote, I was about to give my gift. I think humans should have hands, long fingers, much like my own. Hands, so they can hold on to things, climb and make baskets and fishing nets. Hands to create with. That would be my gift. Ah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It should be paws, paws. I love my paws. It should be hands. Well, the entire circle of animals, were, uh, they were all up in an uproar about, should it be hands or should it be paws? And half of them kept saying, hands, hands. And the other side over here, they were going, paws, we like the paws, hands, paws, hands. Oh, this went on for quite a while. Creator realized they weren't gonna settle it. Creator said, I have an idea. I know how to solve this. We shall have a race. And who shall ever run to the top of that mountain where there's another sacred stone, touch it, and come back and touch the stone beside me? That will be the one to give their gift. So they lined up, lizard on one side, coyote on the other. Coyote turned to the lizard and said, <laughs> Lizard, you're so small, you should just give it up. I'm going to win this thing. We shall see. On your mark, get set. Go! And they ran and they ran and they ran. When Coyote came upon a big boulder at the foot of the mountain, what do you think Coyote did? He ran around the boulder and around the next and the third and the fourth. And by the time he got to the fifth one, he was tired, sat on his haunches, <laughs> panting. But Lizard, when Lizard came to the boulder, what do you think Lizard did? Yeah, you're right. He climbed over the boulder first, second, and it came all the way up to the very top of the stone, was the first to touch the stone, and then nimbly came right back down and touched the sacred stone next to Creator. And so it is thanks to the lizard that we have hands instead of paws. Now, the next time you're outdoors, go into one of our beautiful parks in Marin County, maybe you're in your backyard, and you see a lizard, don't hurt him. No, no, don't hurt him. Use your keen eyes of observation to see clearly. Hold still, be patient like deer, and then look very carefully. And you'll see, lizard has hands a lot like ours. Story done. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed story time with the Museum of the American Indian today. And you can join us on our website at www.marinindian.com to learn more about our programs. Thank you.